Hi, I'm Dr. Richard Nafshin here at Oregon State University, faculty in the Department of Chemistry, and I'd like to show you this little video. Oh, hi. Up on this board, I've uh, gone ahead and compartmentalized some compounds. Oh, hi. On the worksheet page for Chem 121, there's a pro... Oh, hi. I'd like to start off this little gas treatment with a uh, demo. And what's happening is it's sucking heat in from the environment, from the water and the air. Oh, hello. Let's take a moment and talk. The forward reaction is happening. So octane and oxygen are reacting to form carbon dioxide and water. But, but, what? Oh, hi. We'd like to take a look at the Gibbs real quick. I put some of the dust in here, and if I give it a good blast, whoosh, squeeze some air in here, the dust will come in contact with the candle, and it'll go ahead and explode. So it's very, very difficult to do. Got it. Oh, hi. We're starting a unit on gases, and I'd like to start by telling you about a piece of uh, instrumentation here that's looking rather primitive. It works pretty good. You know how to use a suction cup. Go ahead and smash it on there, and it sticks. In a moment, it'll undo itself. There it goes. Uh, now it's stuck really good to the floor because the floor is really, really smooth. There we go. I can stick it to the table and have problems lifting it up. Hi. Oh, I'd like to do a couple of demos involving a microwave oven. And uh, this microwave oven belongs to the Department of Chemistry. I picked it up at a garage sale a few years ago for like five, ten dollars. Just made sure it worked. And uh, it works. But don't do this at home. Do it like at a friend's house where you won't ruin your own microwave because put expanding, opening up quite a bit, heating up. Oh, that actually smells really good compared to a chemistry room when we put a compact disc inside the microwave. I'll put the soap up on top, kind of the microwave casualties. A compact disc, check this out. It's a thin foil surface. Electrons are shot off of there from the waves. The uh, compact disc is a little warm. Uh, that's not very good. I wouldn't put that into the compact disc player anymore. So poor Britney Spears CD, it's all gone. So we have ourselves a light bulb. This is not a very efficient way of lighting up a room. So we've had fires and many little explosions inside of microwave ovens. I like the colors that we get. So it almost looks like a green or a blue. So microwave ovens are pretty fascinating. Oh, hi. I just want to do a short little demo for you. It's what we fondly call the barking dogs. We call, call this the barking dogs for a couple of reasons. i get a hold of this in a couple of seconds here. Sound like a dog? Isn't that funny? We waited the longest, and that was the softest. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, hi. I'd like to show you a little trinket involving polymers. The polymer in here is pinyl, polyvinyl propylene, and polyvinyl propylene is sometimes used as like a light adhesive. So I just went ahead and busted it up and can tell you that the, the smell is really great now because these have been released. When the polymer strands went straight, whew, off go the perfumes. And so there's quite, a, quite an odor here that's not unpleasant, but just in high concentration. Oh, hi. I made a couple of models. And uh, now this confirmation over here has uh, much different than the one on the right. Oh, it's not allowed to go ahead and do that, so they're not the same. And uh, I have a little story for you to remember that acids have low pHs. I, uh, I haven't had my hair cut at a uh, barber in about, oh, 10 years. Uh, my wife or daughter cut my hair with a razor real quickly because I have a phobia of going into barber shops and salons. About 10, 11 years ago, I was getting a haircut and I sat down in the chair and a gentleman comes up and starts to cut my hair and says, you have really dry hair. And I said, yeah, 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 it's dry. I, I work outside a lot and garden and work on cars. I love being outside. And so uh, this continues with your hair has a really high pH. It's really acidic. Well, he had that backwards. 
He says, I've got a high pH, it's really acidic, and I'm thinking my hair probably doesn't have much of a pH, but uh, I didn't want to tell him that I was, uh, knew a little bit about chemistry, so I let him cut the hair, and uh, he tried to sell me on some conditioner product to fix my high pH acid problem. I said, no, thank you very much, and I paid him, and I was about to leave, and I brought myself to turn around and say, you know, I do know a little bit about chemistry, and actually, low pH goes with a uh, acidic solution and not a high pH. And he looked real carefully at me and says, well, you know, you're old and maybe that's how it was when you went to school, but they've changed it. And I was pretty outraged. He called me old and stupid and so I won't go back into a barber shop anymore. That little story should remind you, of course, acids have low pHs. Oh, hi, I'd like to do a little demonstration for you. It's known as the thermite reaction and uh, the aluminum powder and this is the stuff that aluminum cans are made out of and that's known as rust and here in Oregon we have quite a bit of rust so well, I've got the solid inside here and a little 4th of July sparkler and the uh, so at the beginning you'll know that it's just sparks and when this puppy goes you're gonna know that it's more than just the sparks and just ripped right through that aluminum can and it's kind of on fire Hi. Oh, 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 hello again.